I know that normally I would be doing music or gaming or working on something. But today I've been very, very depressed. And for good reason. It's a real crime that we're not going to get our classic Cyrax content today. But we have something so much better to uh, really invest ourselves into. Cyrax claims that his family is going to get evicted from their house. And it's making them feel a little bit bummed out. He's feeling two thumbs down on this day. And it's not looking good. He's wearing his whatever old school basketball cutoff shirt. He's got his, his medallions on. You can see there's an angry bird in the background on the shelf. I mean, he means business here. And there's a lot of things he's going to talk about today. And it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, sometimes these uh, more chilled Cyrax uh, clips can be uh, just boring. You know, he's sludged out. He's not really into himself. This one's pretty good because we got some good content. You know, uh, a couple weeks ago, probably like two weeks ago now, uh, the police showed up at their house for <laughs> when they stole the furniture off their front porch. And since then, I guess uh, somehow, some way, somebody's been figuring out how to get in contact with the landlord. So it's not looking good for the Wilkins household, but we're gonna we're gonna crowdfund this. You know, we're gonna we're gonna dig deep and help this wonderful family who contributes a lot to the community get through this tough time. My family is at risk of being evicted from our home because of the trolls. This morning, Music Biz Marty sent someone to our house to rip down our fence. And our landlady, her insurance company, her and the police both said that either our internet gets turned off or we get evicted. <laughs> what does this <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> the consequences are either we get evicted or the internet gets turned off. Huh? Huh? I think that's the first red flag for me to be like, uh, I'm not sure that this is 100% kosher, my dude. Because why in the world? This sounds like a threat that Sally would make. Sally would probably be like, Somebody's trying to tear out our fence. A uh, chance. If you don't fix it, I'm gonna turn off the internet. And, like, it doesn't make any sense. I feel like he'd be raging so much harder if he was actually getting evicted. I find it hard to believe. Part of me, you know, part of me is suspicious as to everything. You think this whole family is just sort of a uh, schizo brained a little bit? You know, you think they're sitting inside and maybe the landlord sent out somebody to tear out their old decaying like metal fence you think that they were just sitting there like oh my god the trolls are back they're tearing up our backyard when really the landlord probably sent them like five letters in the mail that they just never opened saying that they were going to replace the fence that wouldn't surprise me but you know cyrix is on the case he's going to figure this out or else his internet gets shut off guys no more Fortnite for him, guys. It's gone. Forever. And I need everyone's help. Because my family wants to fight this really bad. We want to get a lawyer, but around here in Ohio, it's almost impossible. My family needs an out-of-state lawyer that will take on our case and help to fight this shit. This doesn't make any sense. It makes zero sense, and we're gonna... We're going to hear some more financial advice from Chance throughout this video. And as as I've 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 made it clear in the lore, Cyrex's video about taxes and how taxes work is my favorite thing cuz it's just so incomprehensibly stupid. And this is no different. Why would you need an out-of-state lawyer to take care of a property issue inside of your state? That doesn't make any sense. As somebody who lives in the region, <laughs> I can tell you, there are plenty of lawyers in every state. You don't have to go searching elsewhere. Now obviously, I'm sure they don't have the funds to get an actual lawyer, because whatever, if an eviction would actually happen, this could be drawn out for a while. You know, and 
how in the world would they win an eviction case? I mean, your best bet is saying that you're throwing out, like, elderly disabled people. Like, maybe you can get some kudos points for that. But, like, their house is infested with bugs and spiders and, you know, you have a 43 living in the attic. I mean, it's just... <laughs> It's a tough case, so it doesn't make any sense as to why you would have to go get, like, an Indiana or a Michigan lawyer to come do this, or, like, what, somebody from, like, New York or California, you know, like, one of those, like, high-res lawyers. You need Saul Goodman, you know? He doesn't take any costs up front until you actually buy into the system. That's what you need. You know, pretty soon, living on the streets, you're going to regret this opportunity. So I, I, I would give Saul a call, if you know what I'm saying. Because these trolls like Music Biz, Marty, and CVG have put my family in a very, very dangerous situation where we will probably be evicted if something is not done. And this house is all I've ever known for the last 10 years. For the last 10 to 11 years, this has been my home. This has been my family's home. This is where I first started my music. This is where I started my very first YouTube channel. See, this is why I brought up the crowdfunding thing. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. This is going to make sense. The trolls can get a stake into 339 Lloyd Street, right? We put some money in there. I mean, like, they have, what, probably, like, 16 nickels to rub together. Something like that, you know. They could sell all the junk inside of Chance's room. Get rid of all of that. So maybe you have, like, four bucks. So they have four bucks. And let's say that's that's the cost of one share. All right? And let's, let's just say we throw out, I don't know, 10,000 shares. All right? The trolls could fund the house so they don't get evicted, but the trolls would own 99% of the house. All right, you following me? Picking up what I'm throwing down? If that's the case, we could turn it into a Rax Museum, you know, turn it into like a circus, you know, let people come in, see see the Rax room, you know, they, they're going to have to sign liability waivers saying that I won't sue for getting, you know, seeing... <laughs> I don't think I can see him rug rat. <laughs> I don't think I can say what I want to say there. Um, something interesting looking at rug rat from behind, if you, if you know what I'm saying. Along with, you know, getting eaten by bugs and stuff. Either way, I think it would be very popular for the community. I, I mean, how often does the circus come to town, you know? They're doing it for free. The trolls can make this profitable. If we can use Cyrex's tax model, we can make $7 billion. That's right. He told us firsthand. So I think I think we should really look into that. And to answer your question, it's because according to the police, everything that goes on on the internet is not real. According to the cops, none of this is real. They think that getting off the internet is going to help things. But it's not. It's only going to make it worse. This sort of reminds me of, like, the scene in The Matrix where Neo discovers, like, the truth about the world. Nothing's real. I'm just in some simulation. The reason that the police say that none of this is real, because there aren't any tangible pieces of evidence that they can provide. So, the closest you could get is Marty punching you, right? Or, I uh, punching you repeatedly. But, you were in the fault for that... So, obviously, you didn't want to call the cops there. But, like, there's nothing else. Like, if there were trolls tearing your fence out in the backyard, you could call the police and have them arrested, right? But, I mean, it's just... His brain. It just can't... It, it, it no comprehend. It doesn't understand what it's trying to, to get through its own tiny little ear holes. It just doesn't get it. A lot of people don't know this. But I'm, because of Marty and them, I'm losing out on over $10 million in ad revenue within a few years. Within a year, I'm losing over $2 million in ad revenue. Because these people want to ruin my life. These people want to antagonize me. They want to see 
me get mad. Chance, I really wish that the ad revenue was that profitable, that someone like you, who posts more irregularly than me, and less content, and gets less views than me, would make $10 million in a five year span, or $2 million every year. I really wish that was the case, uh, considering I get what, like, 80,000 views a month or something like that. I really wish that, you know, compared to Chance, I'd be making, what, like, $5 million a year? <laughs> I mean, this guy has no comprehension. He's been on the platform for so long. And yes, he's never been monetized, and a lot of the, like, ad revenue stuff is more back scenes things that most people don't witness and whatever, but Chance, none of his content would ever get monetized. It just wouldn't. He swears too much, his topics, he's angry. I mean, he wouldn't be able to figure it out. It just wouldn't work. And even if he could, he's, maybe he could make, I don't know, five grand a year, maybe, if all of his videos were monetized and he posted more regularly, maybe like five grand a year. That's my guess, but like, obviously that's never gonna happen. I feel like you would send your request to YouTube and they they do, they do some background research and they're like, um, I'm not sure about this one, Chief. Uh, did you hear what he did to Rugrat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, not great, not great. We're not gonna accept this guy. So Chance, I hate to break it to you, but you don't have as big of an audience as you think you do, and you're not missing out on millions of dollars. <laughs> How ridiculous. Every month, we just barely scrape by on rent. We maybe have a few hundred dollars to our name after rent, and all that money goes towards groceries. So that we can eat, so that we can live. And I'm tired of my family living like this. I want better for myself and for my family. I want my family to not have to worry about paying rent ever again. I want my family to be able to afford lawyers. If he really cared so much about his family, he would go get a job. You know? The simplest solution to bring in more money. If you're just scrimping by, I don't know how much the Lloyd House costs to rent. I mean, it's it's probably not in the best part of, of downtown Akron. I would guess, I don't know. He's probably, they're probably spending 1500 bucks a month maybe. And that might be pushing it. So let's say they're scrimping by. Let's say they spend twenty five hundred bucks a month, or or three thousand, three thousand bucks a month on everything they need. If Chance worked a minimum wage job and brought in two grand a month in net income, there you go. You got two grand extra that your family can use to save up. But no, he has to sit upstairs and he has to screech into his microphone and he has to talk about Marty all day. You know, he doesn't contribute anything to his family. And I'm not going to let Sally get off the hook either, because it's very obvious that she just allows him to get away with this stuff when it's like, okay, well, if your family's in such dire straits, maybe force him to do something. Force somebody who's in his 30s to actually get a job. Maybe that'll work. Obviously, she's afraid of him because he keeps pushing her downstairs and stuff. So, <sighs> I mean... The, the Wilkins household is just in shambles at this point. I'm asking for everyone's help that I can get. And I mean everyone. Because I know you guys don't want to see me or my family homeless. Chance, I hate to break it to you. I think a lot of people sort of want to see a homeless arc. And let me, let me tell you why. I, none of the other locales have really gotten that close. I think... The two closest instances I can think off the top of my head. I mean, there's there's Daniel Larson. I don't I don't count him. He's just like a mentally ill guy. I don't really count him. C Chris Chan was very close until that whole uh, mother Barbara situation came into play. The other one, an unsuspecting one, and it would be a less entertaining homeless saga because I don't think he would actually be homeless. But DSP I think would be an interesting one. Because if the bankruptcy actually did what it was supposed to do, and caught up on all the fraud, and he was stuck with all the debt, and or went to jail, he would have all of his stuff repossessed. 
what would he do? I guess he'd go move in with his parents or something, but either way. Chance, I think you're severely underestimating how much the internet is longing for something like this to come into play. So, I wouldn't count your eggs before they hatch, if you know what I'm saying. When I first moved here to Ohio with my family, we were living out of the back of my mom's GMC Jimmy for a year and a half before we got a place. I was homeless for over a year. Watching my mom work graveyard shift at different restaurants day in and day out, day in and day out, trying to save up money to be able to afford the place that we have now. The, so there's two things about this story. First off, his aunt told us that that wasn't true, that they weren't living in the car. Second off, if you're saying you're... Let's hypothetically say this is real. You're living in the car with your mom. Maybe Ed's in the picture, I don't really know. And you're seeing her working like double shifts for different jobs, and you still don't have a job? Is this when you are scrapping? Because I really don't know. If you're seeing your mom work multiple shifts to try and get a house, try and get somewhere to live, and you just sit, sit inside your van all day, and I don't even know what you would be doing. What would you be doing? You, you literally don't have anything to be doing. So, I mean, he just... It's, it's preposterous that he can't even observe himself in this entire scenario. He seeks the handouts from everybody, but at the same time, if you just look even a centimeter deep into this pool, you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have a completely able-bodied person unable to work? That's weird. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Why is he letting his injured and decaying grandmother take care of everything? Hmm. Odd. And I've never asked for help from anyone. I've never once in my whole career asked for help from anyone. Everything I've done, I have built. I don't even know how to really respond. How do you even respond to that? If anything, it proves how dumb he is. Because he really should be trying to monetize himself. Because, yes, he's completely irredeemable, but I think you would be surprised by how much money he could make if he literally kept a consistent channel and put his like PayPal or Cash App down below. I think he would make like 30, 40, 50 bucks a week. You know, I, that wouldn't surprise me if I'm being 100% honest. So he just has no marketability. He just can't comprehend how to make money. So him saying, Oh, I, I don't beg for money. Well, maybe you should, Cyrax, because, you you know, like, so many people get money off of your name, and you're receiving zero of it. You're getting none of the share. It's basically a breakdown of how all the trolls are going to take over your house. That's the breakdown you're getting. You're getting less than 1%. You're getting none. It's preposterous. You guys see this wallet right here? In here is $20. And if you don't believe me, as you guys can see, $20 right there, right? If somebody needed this $20, I would hand it over to them with no questions at all. If they needed it to help their family, I would hand this to them and not think twice about it. Cyrax, who would you pit pocket this money out of? Did you steal this from Sally's purse? Because, as has been reiterated throughout this entire thing, you don't have a job, you don't make any money. So it is literally impossible for you to have money unless somebody gives it to you or you steal it from somebody. I'm leaning towards the latter a little bit. Why is it rolled up into a nice little ball, into a little round round cylinder? Hmm, suspicious. Maybe you're trying to slip it into your wallet so nobody can see it. So that Sally doesn't find out where her $20 went missing. I don't know, that's just a hunch. Second off, there is no chance in the entire world that you would ever give money to some random person that said they needed money, all right? Stop trying to fool us. You can't fool me, all right? I'm... <laughs> Chance you're tempting me. Free 20 bucks? 
you know, I could drive up there, get 20 bucks for free, because I, air quote, need it? I don't know, Chance. You're setting your, yourself up to be scammed, buddy. You're gonna get scammed again. Oh, hell. You see these movie ticket cards right here to the Regal Theater? You see this right here? If there was a little kid that wanted to see a movie, like, really badly, and didn't have money, there you go. Take my cards. Chance, you would only do that as long as there was a stipulation that you were allowed to go see the movie with the little kid and his parents weren't allowed to follow. That's the only stipulation that you would allow to give them these, whatever these are. You definitely don't have a membership pass to the movie theater. I'm assuming that these are probably expired and or used, like, uh, gift cards towards the movie theater. That's my assumption. So... You're not, you're not, you're not doing any sleight of hand on me, to say the least. And ever since then, I've been, I've been involved with them on a lot of levels. I've made videos for them. I've done local charity events with the church that I used to go to with them. I've done local missions to help out. That's the kind of person that I am. Always giving, always giving, but yet... No one gives in return. Yeah, you're always so giving, Cyrax. Where's my metal album? Where is it? You're so giving? Hello, number one fan right here. Where's my album, bro? Also, you can't say, oh, I made these videos for this charity organization if the video doesn't exist anymore. If it, you deleted it off of your channel. I find it very hard to believe that this ever existed anyway, but... Let's say it did. It, it, the contribution no longer exists if you delete your channel in the video. Durr. Because they unlawfully labeled me as a 43, which if you guys don't know what a 43 is, here in Ohio, that basically means mentally disturbed. When clearly I'm not mentally disturbed. Clearly this guy is not mentally disturbed. How can we be so obtuse about this, guys? Come on. What what instance could we even point to that can make us think that Chance might not be all right up there? It just is preposterous. How dare the state of Ohio do that to him? How dare the trolls push this? Preposterous, just ridiculous. They tell us that in order to prosecute or to move forward, that we need evidence, right? We need names, we need this and that. And I give them all that stuff. But yeah, when we make the report, they claim that they don't need it. Tell me where that makes any sense. That's not what's happening with this. I've already explained this. I mean, you need physical evidence. You saying, oh my god, Cyrax Video Games and Music Biz Marty are calling our house saying that they're going to steal our fence. That is nothing. That literally means nothing to them. Especially with how often you call the police. I mean, I would love to take a straw poll, and maybe I will someday. How often have you ever called the police in your life? I've never done it. I, I've never had a situation, and maybe I'm just lucky. You know, maybe I've just been in scenarios that never would need that response. But Chance, how many times has he called the police? Like, five times this month? You know, like, they're going to put you on a do not respond list, you know? Put out those cameras that you and your family say you can't figure out how to set up. Set them up. If people are actually stealing from you and or destroying your property, then you have legal grounds, alright? Otherwise, stop disrupting the police. If you guys need my PayPal or my cash app for sending donations... Or you guys need my street address to get a lawyer or even to get a news team out of here to talk to my family. Like, any kind of help right now means the world to us. It really does. I would love to see the Wilkins family on a news report. Because you know it would be one of those things... Where the news team shows up with good intentions, sees the state of the house, sees the state of the people, 
and it's going to turn into a hit piece pretty quickly where they'll they'll make some article or some video talking about how squatters in the Akron area are really just destabilizing housing and how landlords are getting screwed over because they're allowing these people to have bed bugs and stuff inside of their house you know stuff like that yeah get the news team out there chance that sounds like a really good approach i am a hundred percent for it all right that's how the internet is how we keep our phones on that's how we keep our phones on that's how we keep everything going that's how i'm able to do my job as a music artist that's how i'm able to do streams for you guys and believe me, dude, I've stayed off the internet before. And you know what happened? They still continue to attack my family. Even after I stay off the internet, they continue to attack my family. So staying off the internet, that's out of the question. That can't happen. And even if it did, it wouldn't do any good. They would still attack my family. Just like last time. Chance, you're really misremembering how all these events happened. Marty would try and goad you to come back, right? You could have literally disappeared, and we would be SOL. We would be sitting with our hands underneath our asses. You know, we would be stuck. And if that was the case, then, hey, you're the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But, unfortunately, you can't control yourself. So you always come back, you always come crawling back. The other point about your phones needing internet, I don't really know what that means. How does that impact your job at all? Your job is sitting in front of your computer and playing Forza all day and uh, drinking your Starbucks drinks that cost $6. Uh, yeah, about that chance. Your family needs a lot of money. Why don't you go give 20 bucks downstairs? Maybe start a pool, get a, get a coffee container. Start getting some money around. Go panhandling somewhere. But right now I need to talk to a friend of mine because they're messaging me. And it's probably about what's going on. With that being said, I love you guys and I'll catch you guys later. His friend probably sent him an invite to go play some game with him. And Chance is like, alright guys, uh, storm's coming. Love you guys. See ya. You know? This whole scenario, I, I, I'm not certain is real. I really am not. If it is, we might be missing out on Cyrax for a while. You know, how is he gonna, is he gonna go to McDonald's every day to upload? Doubt it. Well, it's a sad reality. It's a sad future that we might be living in. But until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate your guys' support. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.